Welcome back to my Houston Texans franchise rebuild here on Madden 22. Today we jump into season two, week one of our rebuild against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But first we need to set a season goal. We are going to commit to seven wins this year because I would go like nine wins, but it's either seven or make the playoffs or make it to the Super Bowl. You have four options. You're either not contending, like kind of on the outskirts of playoffs, making the playoffs or make it to the Super Bowl. No, like, hey, we'll make it, like, we'll win a playoff game. It's just, yeah, we'll make the playoffs or we're making it to the Super Bowl. So we will commit to seven wins. Before we jump into the game, let's go ahead and take a look at the Steelers depth chart. They have Marcus Mariota starting at quarterback. Jacoby Brissett is his backup. At running back, they have Najee Harris and Tony Pollard. At receiver, they have Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, Van Jefferson, and a second year receiver out of Oklahoma State, Evan Cooks. At tight end, they have Pat Fryermuth and Ian Thomas. Left tackle, they have Andre Dillard. Left guard, Kevin Dotson. Center, Kendrick Green. Right guard, Trey Turner. And right tackle, yeah, something o Okra for. Either way, their offensive line doesn't seem to be great, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. On the defensive side of the ball, they have Stephon Tewitt at left end. At right end, they have Cameron Hayward. Defensive tackle, yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. And then Khalil Forbes. Left outside linebacker, they have TJ Watt, who should probably be our main concern. Middle linebacker, they have Devin Bush. Right outside linebacker, Alex Highsmith. Cornerback, Charvarius Ward and Rocky Sin. At free safety, they have Minka Fitzpatrick. And at strong safety, they have Terrell Edmonds. We go into week one with two injuries. Zach Gregory got injured in the preseason. And then Samaj P. Ryan this week got injured in practice. So we don't have our power back this week. If I remember correctly, the Steelers made it all the way to the conference championship last year. So this should be a good test for us. On first and 10, Mariota will hand it to Najee Harris, and on the first play of the game, he gets about an 11-yard gain for a first down. All right, first and 10 yet again for Pittsburgh. Mariota going under center. Still has Najee in the backfield, who now has a superstar dev trait. And it'll be a play action to Najee Harris, and he goes over the middle. That is caught and brought down is Chase Claypool at the 49-yard line, gain of 17. Come on, defense. Y'all got to play a little bit better than that. Two plays, and they've gained like 28 yards. Mariota sending a bunch of people in motion here. Looks like that may have just been an audible. And I think the entire O-line moved. All right, so after that, it is first and 15 for Mariota in the Steelers' offense. He will take the snap. And Mariota running around, dumps it off to his man. And that is going to be caught by Claypool, but he is leveled by 57. Which is Bobby Wagner, our brand new middle linebacker. Second and four after Wagner makes his first official tackle as a Texan. And Mariota will take the snap and go to the outside. That is caught. It immediately brought down is Chase Claypool. 25 on the coverage, which I believe is Desmond King. Now Mariota in shotgun from the 34-yard line. He takes the snap to the outside. A jump ball, and that will be incomplete. Second and 10, Mariota going under center again. And he will take the snap, goes to the outside, tipped and intercepted by the Texans. And now he is off to the races. Down the sideline is number 29 into, inside the 20, 10, 5. And he is going to be brought down at the one-yard line. 29 is Bryce Callahan, who I think was one of the defenders I really kind of didn't want to sign because he was short, but he makes one hell of a play there. And I want to take a look at this play again. He quick throws it. Bounces off Zach Cunningham right into the hands of Bryce Callahan, who I think was one of our free agent pickups this year. And then he runs it all the way back to the one. And I slightly screwed up the call because I got so excited that he was uh, maybe about to get a pick six for our first touchdown of the season. But our first drive is at the one yard line. All right, first and goal. Spitzer comes out, Miles Sanders and Robert Tunyon, and I believe also Jalen Samuels in the backfield. We give it to Sanders. His first official touch as a Texan is a touchdown and we take an early 7-0 lead. All right, let's simulate how the defense does. On first and 10, a four-yard rush from Najee Harris. Second and six, a one-yard rush from Harris. And on third and six, he is sacked by Sheldon Richardson for a loss of four. All right, let's see Spitzer and the offense actually have a real drive now, starting at the 41-yard line. Spitzer comes out in shotgun. He will take the snap. Spitzer under pressure and will meet TJ Watt for a sack and a loss of 10. Okay, that leads to second and 20. Spitzer going back in shotgun. I believe that's still Sanders in the backfield with him. And Spitzer looking to go downfield, and he will find Robert Tunyon for a gain of about eight. So that leads to third and 12. Spitzer comes out, takes the snap, 
And gonna need the first down. Under pressure hit as he throws, and that was TJ Watt supplying the pressure. All right, Pittsburgh takes over, and Tony Pollard runs for an 80-yard touchdown. Wow. Okay. Well, game is now tied at seven. Now first and ten for Houston from the 25-yard line, and he will find that is Floyd Bryan. No, that is Brian Tyson, our third overall pick. Hopefully we can get Tyson involved in the offense a lot more. Second and five, and Spitzer takes the snap. Santa in the pocket, under pressure, needs to get rid of it, then finally just throws it downfield, and that is caught. And I believe that is DJ Chark down the sideline for a first down. So first and ten for Spitzer again from the 48-yard line this time. In shotgun, and he sends Cameron Glass in motion, and he will hand it up the middle to Miles Sanders, and Sanders will really get nothing on the play. Second and nine, Spitzer in shotgun. Spitzer takes the snap. He stands back in the pocket, and he's going to air one out deep downfield, and that is incomplete. That was intended for Floyd Bryant and just sailed out of bounds. Third and nine, Bryant in shotgun. Or I'm sorry, Spitzer in shotgun. He will take the snap. He had Cameron Glass and Sanders in the backfield, and he finds Sanders for a gain of a few, but that's really not going to be enough, and that leads to fourth and eight, so we will punt the ball away. Let's watch this Steelers drive. First and ten from the 11, handoff to Najee Harris up the middle, and Harris will get a gain of a few yards before finally being brought down. So second and five, Mariota in shotgun. He takes the snap, and Mariota goes downfield. That is caught by Chase Claypool, and he has the first down. Is that the only receiver of theirs that can catch? That would lead to first and ten. Claypool has four catches for 49 yards. So far, he's the only Steelers receiver with a reception. And now he hands off to Najee Harris up the middle, and Harris gets a gain of about four or five. All right, third and four. A chance for the defense to get off the field. Mariota will take the snap and go over the middle. That is caught and immediately brought down. I think that's Deontay Johnson, but I think he has the first. No, they're ruling he is short fourth and inches. So the Steelers will punt it away on fourth and inches. The punt is away. Back to return should be Cameron Glass. And that is going to bounce at the five, and that is where they will down it. All right, Spencer takes over at the four-yard line. Let's see how they operate this offense situation. Hand off to Miles Sanders up the middle, and he gets almost nothing. Three carries for three yards so far. Second and nine, Spencer comes out in shotgun. Only one in the backfield, and it's a QB draw. He'll keep it himself, and he may have gotten two yards on the play. Third and seven, Spencer takes the snap out of shotgun, goes to the outside. That is caught and brought down as Jalen Samuels, but he will not have the first down. Fourth and one, and they will punt. All right, let's see how this drive goes for Pittsburgh. On first and 10, it is a sack by Jonathan Greener for a loss of four. And that will take us to the second quarter. So now on second and 14, a three-yard rush from Tony Pollard. And on third and 12, a two-yard reception by Pollard. So they will punt the ball away. And let's just simulate this offensive drive. Let's see how it goes. First and 10, throws away. Second and 10, four-yard rush from Spitzer. Third and six, knocked away by Rocky Sen. So we will punt the ball right back to Pittsburgh. And now they come out, and Jonathan Greenard gets his second sack, this time for a loss of seven. So on second and 17, Mariota runs for four. And on third and 12, he hits Van Jefferson for 15 to keep their drive alive. And on first and 10, Desmond King gets a pick and runs it back to the 20-yard line. All right, Spitzer, can you score off another turnover? First and 10 from the 20. Spitzer goes under center, and he sends Floyd Bryan in motion, and will hand it to Miles Sanders up the middle, and Sanders will get a couple yards. He only has four carries so far. Second and eight. Spitzer and shotgun will take the snap, and it's a QB draw. He'll keep it himself and go for a gain of about two to three. So that sets up a third and six. Spitzer and shotgun here. He's going to need to go downfield a little bit here. Spitzer under pressure and will be sacked on the play. I don't know what happened in 91. He, like, teleported. But Cam Hayward gets the sack, and that will lead to a field goal try. All right, Daniel Carlson, can you make about a 41-yard field goal to give us a three-point lead with six and a half minutes to go in the second quarter? Kick is away, and it is good. All right, let's see how we do on defense here. First and 10, nine yards to Van Jefferson. Second and one, 14 yards to Van Jefferson. First and 10, negative three from Najee. Second and 13, 10 yards to Claypool. Third and three, three yards from Najee, and that would give him the first down. Seven-yard rush from Najee, and I don't have the... Uh, play clock at the top of the screen that's nice there we go second and three one yard rush from Najee Harris so that will lead to a third and two and he throws it away so they will attempt a field goal and the kick is good so now the offense comes back out 
Let's see if they can do anything. Simulation. First and ten. He finds Floyd Bryan for 13. On first and ten, he runs for three. Second and seven, negative two for Miles Sanders. And on third and ten, interception by Terrell Edmonds. So the Steelers take over at the 28-yard line. Let's see if the defense can come up with a stop here. First and ten, Mariota takes the snap, hands off to Najee Harris up the middle, and Najee will run for a gain of about eight here, I think. And that would set up second and three. Mariota in shotgun, still has Najee in the backfield. No, it's actually Pollard in the backfield, and he goes to the outside. That is caught by Claypool, and Desmond King has allowed him to catch, I think, five or six passes already. All right, first and ten, Mariota in shotgun here. He will take the snap and go downfield. That is caught and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Who was that? That was Deontay Johnson in the end zone, and they take a 17-10 lead. All right, Spencer, you have a minute and 51 seconds to go about 75 yards here. So let's see if you can actually do it. Take the snap out of shotgun, and please take the easy throw that I see is open or go downfield and find an open man. That is Floyd Bryant down at the 43-yard line. Now Spitzer comes out in shotgun again from the 43 this time. Spitzer, under pressure, just throw it away, and he doesn't know how to do that, so he takes a huge-ass sack. Second and 25. Spitzer and shotgun will take the snap from the 28-yard line, and just a quick throw to the outside, caught by Tunyon. Tunyon actually made a few uh, yards on that play. I got more than I expected. Third and 14. Spitzer takes the snap out of shotgun. Got to go downfield, and he will find Cameron Glass, and Glass gets stood up at the 45-yard line. And they would have to punt. Let's see if A.J. Cole can at least pin them deep here. Punt is away. And that is going to be not fielded. And wow, that went out of bounds at the two-yard line. All right, Spitzer. You led a total of 73 total offensive yards last half. We have to do a little better than that if we want to win any games. And he's going deep downfield. And he's got a man. And that is caught and knocked out. No, did he come down with that? No, he did not. It was knocked out of his hands. That was Brian Tyson. At least we're trying to get him involved. Second and 10. Spitzer sends a man in motion. He takes the snap, and it's a quick toss play to Floyd Bryan. And Bryan's got good blocking and a first down. Brought down at the 39-yard line, a gain of 14. First and 10, Spitzer in shotgun. He takes the snap. Stands in the pocket under pressure. Please throw it away and finally gets rid of it. But it's caught by Tunyon, and he comes back for the ball. And I think, yeah, we lost yards on that. We lost six yards by completing that pass. Second and 16. Spitzer and Pistol takes the snap. He stands in the pocket under pressure again by TJ Watt. Breaks away from one sack. You need to get rid of it and just throws it away. At least he finally learned to get rid of the damn ball. Third and 16. Got to keep this drive alive. And it's a quick pass to the outside. Caught by Cameron Glass. And he is going to be, no, it's actually caught by Miles Sanders. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Fourth and five, and I'm assuming they'll punt. Let's see how the Steelers do. First and ten, three-yard rush from Pollard. Second and seven, five yards from Pollard. Third and two, 12 yards of Claypool. First and ten, thrown away. Second and ten, six yards from Najee. Third and four, get off the field, guys. 12 yards to Deontay. First and ten, eight yards from Najee. Second and two, four yards from Pollard. First and ten, three yards from Pollard. Second and seven, thrown away. Third and seven, Ian Thomas for 17. First and goal, sacked by Jonathan Greener, who gets his third sack today. Apparently the only one on defense that showed up. Second and goal, he would throw it away. So on third and goal, he throws it away again, and they will go for a field goal, and it is good. Okay, Spitzer, you kind of need to put together some sort of drive here. First and 10, Spitzer takes the snap, stands in the pocket under pressure, and sacked. Second and 21, Spitzer comes out in shotgun at the 14-yard line. Miles Sanders in the backfield, and it'll be a quick throw to Brian Tyson, and he gets a gain of at least a few yards there. Third and 12, Spitzer takes the snap, trying to keep this drive alive. It's a screen pass out to Miles Sanders. Sanders has the first down across the 40-yard line and finally brought down at the 43. And now Spitzer and Pistol, Sanders in the backfield, and they will hand it to Miles Sanders up the middle, and Sanders gets absolutely decked as he hits the line of scrimmage. Six carries for four yards for Miles Sanders. Not a terrific debut for him. And on second and nine, Cameron Glass looks to be in the backfield, and that's where they'll go with it. And Cameron Glass gets a few yards. He has five yards. On one carry, he already has more yards than Miles Sanders does. Third and four. Spitzer in shotgun takes the snap. And he's going to be under pressure quickly and sacked on the play. 
This D line is relentless. All right, defense, we're going to need to stop. First and 10, five yard penalty against Pat Bergantz. Not what we needed. Second and three, five yard rush from Najee Harris. First and 10, five yard penalty against Brandon Graham. So, first and five, thrown away. Second and five, three yard rush. Come on, third and two, get off the field. Three yards from Najee. And we head to the fourth quarter. First and 10, five yard rush from Najee. Second and five, 14 yards to Deontay Johnson. First and 10, seven yards to Van Jefferson. Second and three, four yards to Najee. First and 10, negative two from Najee. Second and 12, Deontay Johnson, 29 yard touchdown. All right, down 27 to 10. Can Spitzer finally wake up on offense? He'll take the snap. Spitzer stands in the backfield. He's actually having a lot of time right now, but he is standing there for way too long. Please just get rid of the ball. He's going downfield, and that is caught and knocked out of the hands of Brian Tyson. Second and 10. We have not had much signs of life of offense today. Second and 10 from the 25 since Chark in motion. And Spitzer looking to go downfield under pressure and will be sacked again. Eight minutes to go here in the game. Third and 25 for Joe Spitzer. He takes the snap. He's going to have to go deep downfield, but he throws a little dump off route. And that is actually, I think, caught. Didn't even see by who. Caught by DJ Chark, who gets a second catch today. All right, defense. I'm going to need you to, like, score a touchdown or something and make a play. Third and five, and interception by Zach Cunningham. All right, the offense will get to take the field one more time at least. All right, Spitzer, it's first and ten. You're in shotgun at the 48-yard line. Six and a half minutes to go in the game. Try to put something together on offense. And goes to the outside. That is caught by Cameron Glass, and he goes out of bounds. Second and six. He comes out in shotgun. Spitzer takes the snap again. Goes to the outside. That is caught by Robert Tunyon, and he is forced out of bounds at the 42. Leads the third and inches. He's in shotgun. No one else in the backfield. I swear to God, if this is that QB draw, I'm going to lose my mind. Takes the snap, and it's a quick throw this time to Tunyon. He's got the first down, and Forbes is injured on the play for Pittsburgh. All right, second and 10. He's in shotgun. He has Sanders in the backfield again, and Spitzer has a little bit of time here. You cannot stay in the pocket that long, and he just dumps it off, and it's once again knocked out of Brian Tyson's hands. Third and 10. Spitzer in shotgun will take the snap. And he is under pressure. You need to throw it away and sacked once again by TJ Watt. Fourth and 24, and we're going to go for it. Just going to have to heave this one deep, Spitzer. On fourth and 24, Spitzer goes deep downfield and overthrows everybody. Did he get worse throughout the offseason, guys? All right, first and 10, five-yard rush from Najee. Second and five, four yards from Najee. First and two, five-yard penalty against the defense. So that would lead to third and seven, and he throws it away. So they get the ball back one more time, but we're just going to simulate this. First and 10 goes to Brian Tyson for eight yards. Second and two, interception by Devin Bush. And on first and goal from the six, he goes to Tony Pollard for two yards. Second and goal thrown away. And third and goal, touchdown Pat Fryermuth, making it 34 to 10. 2.45 to go in the game, and the offense comes back out on first and 10. Six-yard rush from Spitzer. Second and four, 13 yards to Chark. First and 10 thrown away. Second and 10, sacked by Cameron Hayward for a loss of five. And I guess that was a two-minute warning. So now it's third and 15, and he throws it away. So on fourth and 15, he finds Floyd Bryant for 12, but not enough. So Pittsburgh will take over, and I'm assuming just run down the clock here. Final score, 34 to 10. Not exactly how we wanted to start the year. Spitzer looked absolutely lost out there. I know that D-line was good, but... He wasn't throwing the ball deep at all. He barely got the, uh, you know, he barely got like Chark involved. I think Chark only had like two or three catches. So hopefully that improves throughout the year. But man, that is a rough start for Joe Spitzer. Spitzer goes 21 of 35 for 191 yards, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions. Yeah, that is that is a horrible start for him. A quarterback rating of 51. Rushing-wise, Miles Sanders got the ball six times for four yards and a touchdown. Spitzer, five for 17. And Cameron Glass, one for five. We've got to start running the ball a little bit more. Receiving, Robert Tunyon caught five passes for 28 yards. Floyd Bryan caught four for 57. And Sanders caught three for 31. Those were pretty much our leaders. Chark caught three for 36. And then our rookie making his debut caught three for 22. And Sheldon Richardson gets an upgrade here. So we will upgrade his run stopper, make him a scheme fit. 
He gets plus two to block shedding, plus one play rec, and plus one tackle. And looking at week two, we actually have a breakout player, so let's see who that is. Malik Morgan. All the Colts less than 250 total yards or get Malik Morgan one interception, force fumble, tackle for loss, or sacks. Okay, so we are not going to simulate any games this week. We are going to watch this next game in the next video because I want to see if the offense can get their shit together at all or if I need to make some drastic changes somewhere on the offensive game plan. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.